You are now able to fully customize your ships to your liking with the new Ship Skinner system in EVE Online. By the end of this video, you're going to find out exactly how you can become the Bob Ross of EVE Online, making incredible designs. Stand out, be subtle, black on red. Put some happy little frigates over there. So if you want the best EVE guides, you came to the right place. Ladies and gentlemen, Loru here, digital advertiser, content creator, and even enjoyer for the better part of 10 years now. And I've made myself an avalanche skin. I like how subtle it is. A bit of matte black with some beige mixed in, a little bit of yellow, a little bit of blue. Subtle, effective, beautiful. And the new ship skinner tool is going to let you do just the same. You can find this by going into your Neocom, go down to utilities, go down to ship skinner, and here's a pro tip for you. If you're in that menu, you can right click that and press add shortcut and it'll be right here on the right hand menu. You can access it with one click once you do that. Now the collections tab is where you're going to see all the patterns, skins, and colors that you've unlocked. That personalization tab is basically replaced by this tab here. The studio tab is where you can make new designs and also check your saved designs. You can also see skins that are currently being sequenced that is being created. More on that later. So let's make our ship skin look incredible, shall we? We're going to press create new design. And before we go any further, yes, it does cost Plex to make new skins. I expect the Plex market to explode on on Equinox launch, so make sure to get your Plex orders in sooner than later to avoid spending an arm and a leg. Eh, it might just be an arm for now, but you get the point. You can also make skins for ships you're not currently piloting by going over to this hull selection tab right here. From there, you can choose whatever hull you would like. You don't have to actively be flying the ship in order to make a skin for it. Would stick with my brand spanking new avalanche right here for now. Now you have five slots that you can customize, primary, secondary, detailing, and tech. You can also mess with the pattern of the overall design. You can use these to mix and match to your heart's content. Let's start with the pattern tab. I'm going to click fade in here. And the moment I click that, you're going to see this little uh, crosshair thing. This reticle can be moved by messing with the top sliders here. This is going to mess with the position of the pattern, depending on where you move it. Ooh, that looks nice. Oh, let's go. Little two-face action. What the heck, dude? You can also snap your pattern using the pattern projection button right here. Top, front, right. You can choose what area you would like the pattern to go on by messing with these drop downs right here. You can see if I click on apply to secondary, it's going to undo that. So it only applies to primary detailing and tech. I really like this. It takes it off from the bulk of the ship and makes those details really, really pop. You don't want like a solid red ship. That'd be super weird. You can see our Plex cost went up. Yes, the more you put on your skin, the bigger the Plex costs are going to be. The cost is based on the tier system that the skin has. You can see if I take off this, we're going to go back down to tier one. There's no skin used. If I put this on, it immediately goes to a tier five skin. In. I put on just some random colors here. You're going to see the tier increase. The bigger the tier, the rarer the material, and the bigger the hull size is going to mean the plex cost goes up. And I clicked randomly there, but I think for the sake of this demonstration, that's going to show enough. That's not half bad. You can save the skin for later if you're not done working on your design. You can access from the studio tab. Save as will let you change the skin's name. Let's press create skin for now and see what's next. Now, you're not just going to need plex to make this skin happen. Yes, there's three other kinds of materials you're going to need. A fermionic sequencer, a Kerr sequencer, and the alignment sequencer. Now, all of these are going to be seeded in TQ markets. Check your regional market to see where you can buy the closest one. You can see also it will take some time to sequence this seven days approximately, which can be reduced by the introduction of some new skills. Equinox has a ton of new skills and sequencing is actually a brand new tab inside of your skill tree. And there's really three types of skills you can train up here. There's skills that reduce the time it takes you to sequence something. There's skills that increase the amount of sequencing you can do. And there's other skills that are focused around the Paragon Hub. We're going to cover that in a future video. Now, once you've trained up your stuff, you've gathered your max, you've got your plex. We're going to press start sequencing. Now, you could wait the seven days it's going to take to finish this. But if you mouse over this, you can see we can complete this now by spending 150 plex. Oh, CCP games, yet shaky game devs. I don't hate this, but they're really going to make you pay to speed up this whole system. So if we press complete now and press yes, now that skin has been added to our collection. Collection. It's not going to appear in your item hanger. It's going to appear in the collection tab. You can see I'm currently using a different skin. And if I click on this guy, we can activate it and apply to my current ship. Yes, I'd like to activate it. Just like that, we're looking a little bit more red and yellow. A little. I actually don't hate this skin. I might try to make this on the main server. What the heck, dude? Now, make sure if you're buying Plex to actually do this sequencing, that you're using code Loru over on the Marquee site. The link will be in the description for you. Marquee site is the best place to get all your EVE online items. And I'm an affiliate 
there. So I do get a kickback whenever I'll use my code. You do get your stuff for cheaper Plex Omega skill points. You get your precious items for less. I get a kickback. Everybody wins. Now we're averaging about 200 of you and many times more using my code every single month. So a huge 07 to y'all. Thanks for supporting the Laura brand. We're going to cover how to buy and sell skins in a future video that deserves its own deep dive. So sub for that. And here's the full Equinox playlist. You're going to be able to watch all these, the fits, tips, the tricks right now. Be able to stay ahead of the curve on all the new things. Feel free to share your skin creations in our Discord. The link will be in the description. Might even be some prizes in store for you. Thanks a ton, y'all. We'll see you in a future video.